Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games, and Toti wants me to play the Warmel as the bonus game today, so that's what we're going to do, all three daily modes. And uh, no one may have had any word suggestions, so I picked two words from Toti's message, liked and solve, and we're going to start with that. Do what you got to do. All right. Well, this isn't so bad. The starting S and E, there's an I probably in the middle. So what does that? Why do I keep losing focus on this? All right, I-E, um, like smile, but not. Smite, no, but I'm right about the I. All right, uh, do I want to do a filler? I see punch, but maybe getting the A is better. Ranch, oh, well, that's quite nice. Shire, and, ooh, what is this? A is not second. So something RA, something E is most likely what it is. Could be Braze. I kind of want to guess Braze. I think Braze is with an I though. B-R-A-I-Z-E. So maybe not. <laughs> Graze? Yeah. Braze is apparently a word. Graze is a word. I think I should do another filler, though. Um, how about, oh, pygmy? You know what? I will do pygmy. Well, it's grape. Okay. <laughs> pygmy was pretty good. Uh, I don't know why I thought of grays and not grape, but there you go. Uh, yeah, not, not a terrible solve. Um, I had to use two fillers, but... That's fine. These these were like very trappy words, so I'm kind of glad I did. Let's do the quartal, and I've already forgotten the words. All right, we're going to start with Shire Grape. Let's see. Um, I'm wondering if this word ends with a Y. That seems fairly likely. I'm going to do a filler with a Y in it. Um, How do I do that? Coldy, I know. Um, it's like Thule a word or um, Dowdy is a word, but I don't want to repeat the D. Loudy or Bowdy, one of these is sure to be a word. Towdy, <laughs> I don't know. Um, how about found? Even though it doesn't get the Y, I think that gets the some of the letters I want. Okay. So I wonder if bottom left is poppy. Let's not do that yet, though. Let's do drove for the bottom right. Ooh, no. It's trove? Oh, I just... Oh my gosh, what did I just do? Okay, it's not poppy. I'm, I used the V again instead of the D. Um, I have to get all the words now. I can't do, I can't make any mistakes. So what is R-O-D-E? Good question. Erode. Okay. I think the bottom left is loopy. Yes, it is. Okay. Um... I'm thinking C-H-O, but it could also be W-H-O. It's not double O. So that's, that's all we get. That's all the vowels. They're not two O's, so it's just an O in the middle. So something like chalk would make sense. Yes. And this one, good luck to me. Um, there aren't many letters left. I'm thinking AI separated makes the most sense, but who knows? Ooh, this is going to be tough. Maxim. I'm going to go with Maxim. Ooh, it was. Ooh, I'm proud of myself. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of myself. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the, uh... Let's do the Wormel next. So, 
with no luck on the start here. Let's start with S. Let's do S, N. Ooh, can we do like snowy or something? I like snowy. Ooh, all gray, like snow. All right, so it starts with a letter near the start of the alphabet. <laughs> maybe F. Ooh, maybe I want to do an H though. So, I'm, oh, actually, I don't. I don't know if H is the best. Maybe an E. F E or something near F. Feels. Okay, now we're talking. So. I want to do an H here. So let's do CH. Because uh, the strategy I use here is to try to use an extreme letter. Because that knocks out the most. It, 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 it finds which half you're in. Um, which is very nice. Um, I think this might be an A. R is great, but... Oh, charm. Hey, or you could just get the answer. Um, that's another very good strategy, is to just get the answer. All right, let's do the super. Um, it looks like sus us is our way to go on this one. All right, we caught one. Let's put a... Um, hmm. The strategy would tell me to do an S, but T feels a lot more likely second, so I'm actually going to go straight for T. If I can start with... Oh, I can't start with... That. Obviously, I started with S sus us, so... Actually... There's no vowel. Um, what can I do? I think we're going to start with a vowel, so let's start with A. A-T-H could work. Is Athen a word or something? No. Um, ooh, what can we do? How about awoke? Does that work? No. There's no K here. How about award? That does work. It's aware. Wow. Yeah. Just get. Just get it. Um, I think that strategy. If you learn anything from from my solves here. Uh, you just get the word. That's that's a good way to do it. Um, okay. <sighs> How do we feel about sus us on this one? I like it. Hey, we caught the U. Hey, it's the second letter again, too. Um, gotta try Q, right? How about E? Can I do quest? No, because of sus us. Um, well? Wow, it is Q-U. It ends in L. Actually, kind of didn't expect that. Uh, quail, then? Nice! Oh, sus us wins again. I love sus us. Not always appropriate, but when it is, works well. All right, let's do the polygonal. This feels really similar to yesterday. We have three... It's a six-letter word, and one of the letters is repeated three times. Um, it's a little bit different, but... This still feels nice. Um, reeks. It's, uh, that doesn't have an E there, though. This is actually weird, though. Um, wheezes. <laughs> um, okay. Instead of ES, then, let's look at T. Because I feel like T or... Something like that. We can add an S. But no, how do we... Okay, so like... No, it doesn't work. So S here, then. Assess... Assessed. <laughs> no, um, it's gotta be a vowel, then. Let's, let's put an E again. Um, how, do, how do we do the E here, though? D. Uh, does O look better? I don't. I don't think it would. But am I on Hexpert? I am. Um, 
Let me look at ED. Maybe that'll help. Leered? Okay, that's a word. It is E. Ooh, close. Field. I tried field already. Peeled? Hey, it's peeled. Okay. <clears throat> nice, got it in two. I feel like that's good. Got a lot of greens from the first guess. All right. Let's do the daily symbol. We're going to start with blaze. L is maybe second, so we test that with um, sl sling. Not L second, so I'm thinking E or A second. Um, what do we do? Like T E R is is something I'm thinking about, but I don't know how to follow that up. I don't know why. This is terrible, but I'm thinking of jerky. You know, perky is better. But you know what? Let's go with the J anyway for fun. All right. We weren't in danger of perky having been the correct answer. So E is second, and we end with... See, this is nice. We probably end with R because the J and the K just aren't nearly as common. Um, but it doesn't... Oh, it, it, it could end with ER because this E could be pointing... would be pointing here, and it, it wouldn't have a chance to point here. So let's look at that, like never, but no N. Um, the R, on the other hand, it can't start with R because the R would be pointing here, not here. Deter. Okay, well, I was wrong about it ending in ER, but I was right about the R. So we just need a different vowel there, I guess, an O or a U. Um, it's not Demir, so we tried D. It's not power. Don't swap those letters in your head. Um, what is this? Let's look at OR, because that feels more likely than UR. They're swapped. <laughs> um... I don't know. Everything I think of is actually ER. Like, I don't think hexer is a word. It's not. Is there some trick I'm missing? I mean, I could I could look at UR. The only thing I can think of is Demir, though. Uh... What about C U R? I really don't, I mean, occur, but <laughs> there's no E in occur. Um, I don't see a word. This is weird. Is there any way it's anything other than a vowel, second to last? Q R W R. P R F R H R X C P. It doesn't seem like it could be. So it is an O or a U. I'm tempted to do a um, filler. I know fillers are really uncommon for me in symbol, but I, I think I need to do one. <laughs> I'm going to do pouch. All right, the fourth letter is an O or a U. Maybe I should have only picked one of those, but we didn't find any of the other letters. Um, so it's O and then, sorry, it's E and then say O, R, or U, R, and we've significantly reduced, oh, is fe femur, is that spelled with a U? I think it is, yeah, okay, femur, got it, okay, that makes sense. I didn't need pouch, but it helped a lot, <laughs> it helped a lot, okay. Well, um, 
Yeah, don't don't look how many it took me. That's a little embarrassing, but a femur's not an easy word. So how'd you do on that one? Let's finish off with both fusels. So we have a new a new twist today. Uh, oh, we've had this one before, but once before. But it's one of the new ones. So our guess can be a word of any length, but its vowels are removed. So you pick a word that's longer than five letters, you remove all its vowels, and uh, you guess that. Um, it has to be five letters long. All right, so, but first we're going to start with femur, and we're going to not get the uh, info about the M or U. But we do know there's an E second, so we're not allowed to actually guess that E, but that's fine. Um, so what do we want to get? Let's think about what letters we might like. So like the S, the T, the N. Um, S, T, N, L. And C maybe? It's not a word by itself, but let's let's think about S T N L and think about so like stolen um stolen no <laughs> um stealing. This can be stealing, among other things, probably. I think that's bad. That's that's not bad. I think that's pretty good. So let's get that. Of all of those letters, it was the G that I wasn't even thinking of including. That's really funny. Um, where's the G go? So is it after the E? Like E G. Um. Maybe finding the G would be the way to go. Let's make this alphabetical. So something like G I. Well, we, this doesn't. This one doesn't matter actually. Um, but if I put like an I here and an E at the end. Well, we know the G is not at the end, so it's really G could be in these spots. Um, so if I guess letters kind of near that, that seems nice. So like an I and an E, but the D would work. Glide, maybe? There's no L, but we'll get letters near L, so that's fine. Let's try that. Okay, so there's an E here, there's an E here. Neither of these are G, but they're close to G, which is interesting. So that means we can place the G here. Oh no, sorry, the G is here. Um, is this hedge? Nice. Okay, that was... I think my warmel um, just worked out really, really well. I also like that I can guess S-T-L-N-G. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> All right. Let's do the blind fusel. Incognito again. Um, what are we starting with? My memory is terrible today. It was hedge. Okay. Nothing from hedge. There could be an E, but if there is, it is second. So maybe we'll guess an E second with this Fibble clue. Um, what would what would be good there? Something like, ooh, that's why I'm having trouble scanning. It's on ABC. Something like slept would be nice. I know I wanted to put the E second, but actually if the E is not yellow, if the E is green, we know it's the lie, which could be helpful. Or he's, okay. Now we have to start with B or E. We're definitely going to find about the E now. Um, didn't know. Couldn't have known. There's an S and an L somewhere. Um, but I'm going to guess break, because there's really not anything else to do. It starts with B. Thanks for giving me that. Now we definitely, definitely know there's no E. Um, I don't know if the L or S is the lie, or there could be a different lie, but the A could be the lie. Hmm. I'm going to guess something like bossy, because I'm going to try to place that S if there is one. Hey, I placed it. So there's a B here. There's an S here. This is not an O. There might be an L somewhere. Basil? Well, we know this isn't an A. There's no A's. Um, 
what is what goes here? Maybe there's no L. Maybe the L's the lie. That would make sense. Something like busty. No. Well, I'm not allowed to get the answer on this one, so we're forced to do a filler. But what is it? B. We know there's no E. So this could, this this is an I then. It's not A. We're not allowed to guess E, but we know there is no E. Uh, A E. Um, it could be an I. We're not allowed to guess O, but I think it can't be O. We tried O in that spot with the green, with the yellow only clues. Um, oh, Busty. Also, we should remember that was a wormal clue. So it's not you in this slot. So it has to be an I. So we're B I S. Oops. Oh, we're not allowed to guess B, but we're B I S. Biz. Um. We don't know if there's an L or not, but if there's an L, then there also has to be a P or T, and that's just not going to work because it's B-I-S something. So the L is the lie. So we know there's not no P or T either. So what is this letter? Can we end in Y? We can't even end in Y, um, which we actually tried twice. I didn't think about that. Oh, it couldn't have been busty. Um, what starts B-I-S? Could it be B-I-S-I? Bisip. Bisit. I don't know. If it's a vowel, it's an I. Okay, I'm going to do a filler that uses I's here. Um, minim or something. And we're going to try, we're going to hope for the best. Okay. That's actually not bad. So we're B-I-S, and then there's an N somewhere. Oh, it can be an O. Okay, so we're bison. Nice. I thought it couldn't be an O because we weren't allowed to guess O in this guess. Okay. I thought it looked gray, but uh, yeah, clearly this O was was yellow, but it didn't show as yellow. Okay. Yeah, it all makes sense, but um, Minim helped. Minim helped a lot, actually. So that was lucky. All right, cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the daily games today. In the comments section, I would like to see suggestions for starting words. I'd also like to see suggestions for what the bonus game should be. It can be a new game or it can be a game I've already played. I don't mind either. And of course, if you did enjoy uh, this content, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.